Now to the back of the book we go. Mr. Paul Thorat with his pick. I'm sorry, tip of the week. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can now pre-order Windows 10 retail media if you would like. And um, why might you do this? Um, <laughs> wait, 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 what, is it, what does it even mean? If well, well, I mean, in the past, obviously, you could go to a store, you could order online, Windows, whatever, Windows oh, like 8. On a disk? What? On a disk, but for Windows 10, they're finally switching to USB flash drives. Oh, that's cool. Um, so the pricing hasn't changed. You know, the pro version, it's the full version is uh, $200 in the United States, and the home version is $99. And, of course, the, there are many other ways to buy Windows 10. You can buy the, um, you know, the OEM versions. Um, you know, if you're building a new PC, you can buy uh, upgrades to a new product editions from within the product like you could before. And, of course, most people are just going to kind of get it for free. Uh as an upgrade um, from their previous Windows version. But if you do need a full retail version of the product, and some people will eventually going forward, um, you can upgrade, you can pre-order that now. The interesting thing is it doesn't appear that this thing is actually going to be available on the 29th. Um, when Amazon first put the product up, I think it said August 16th. And if you look at it today, it says August 30th. And I think those are placeholder dates, but it's not really clear when they'll actually become available. But... Um, you know, if you want a cool retail package and a custom USB key or whatever, um, you can grab that now. They're going to have to have some sort of hologram on it or something. Is it Microsoft official? Right. Like they do with the, did with the discs. It'd be interesting. It might be How a really you, cool Oh, I don't even, yeah, I, right, right. Might be kind of cool. Although there's no way to, unless it's a write-only USB key. That really, they ought to do that. But I don't even know how you would do that. You know, I, one of the things I like to do with a Windows install flash disk you know which i use pretty often is to i put driver folders on there for the pcs right. Um, right. but the product key and if there is one in a uh, mm -hmm. in a text file or whatever mm -hmm. i mean it's 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 neat we can, i even put i even put apps that i know i'm going to install yeah, yeah right right yep well that's that's cool that itself is a tip yes <laughs> load up your usb key with all the stuff you're sure. going to need yeah yep and you know it's i mean first of all nobody has cd i mean there's no cd i know there's no I know. where would i so nowadays, you really need to do it on uh, Flash. Yeah, so they finally <coughs> made that transition. Good for them. Yeah.